Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Shot in the Dark with me, Rob Lol. Today we are going to play Knights of Pen and Paper 2. So, quick disclosure, I haven't played Knights of Pen and Paper 1. Uh, I have watched other people play it on YouTube for a little bit. I know that there's like cool things you can do, like you can customize this little room that you're playing your D&D in. And yeah, there's some other things you can do and you gain gold and the menu is here. Also guys, uh, you can quickly click on the play game room and you can see here what updates, upgrades and things you can buy for your little, um, well, your dungeon master room, I guess. So there's all kinds of things that you can put in here. Um, they actually increase and decrease stats. So changing the room has an effect on your gameplay. You can buy stuff with in-game currency that you get while playing. You might notice that my currency is shot up to 25. That's because I actually forgot to show this. And I thought I'd come back quickly and show it. So the, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things that you can change. I actually like this one quite a lot. It's pretty cool. But the other thing that I noticed is you have like this link that I guess is directly to like Twitter. And you have some other things you can unlock for gold, which I don't know is a is a purchase currency or not a purchase currency. I don't know. And I don't really want to like speculate on that too much because if you look at issue two of their little fake magazine thing which i still think is really cute uh there is like day one dlc i guess uh which is a bit shitty but there it is but what they do have as well is they have unlock for 4.99 so is that 4.99 in-game gold is it 4.99 real american dollars what is this i don't know it's it's misleading when everything has like the same symbol but different values. Ah, oh, I don't know. So, that aside, let's jump straight into the game and see what we can actually do. So, yeah, I want to start a new game. Never played this before. Should have prob probably played the first one first. Oh, we're level 99. This should be really easy. Once upon a time, in the world of Paperos. Yeah, I have my dice ready. I see you imported your old character into my campaign as well. Uh, not really, seeing as I don't have an old character. <laughs> this is my level 99 Paper Knight. I've played it in another campaign. Well, we better skip all the noob stuff. Remember that you can always uh, find help in the player's handbook. Okay, so this is the player's handbook. Game basics. Rolling dice. Gold. Oh, okay, so the, wait, wait, we can get an explanation of the gold. Gold! Here's gold. Okay, never mind. It's character creation, blah, 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 blah. We don't need instructions. We need to know. We just need to play. Well, I'll, I'll figure out how to play later on my own. And if I like the game, I might make a little series of it. This is something that I might actually make a series of. But we'll see how it goes. If you guys like it, uh, tell me down below and I'll play it for a little bit longer. You know, down below in the comments. I don't know if that wasn't clear. Uh, remember that you can always find help in the player's handbook. Cool. Steam flats. Oh, okay. So this is obviously just to kill my level 99 character then. <laughs> Into the toss. So he wants me to roll a new character. That's pretty much what it is. Into the tar tusk, I guess. The most dreadful creature in existence. Its skin deflects even magic missiles. Oh no. I'm <laughs> I'm loving this adventure already. Hmm. What the fuck? Me end game content. You not summon tar tusk. I'm not gonna pronounce his name. He's going to be the T. We need not summon the T now. Be quiet, minion. I changed the script. Okay, so you get to see the end boss right at the beginning. My character has plus 255 damage versus the T. Auto lethal, immunity to all, vorpal strike, uh, ethereal muscles, permanent haste, rust proof. Life sucks. What the hell is life sucks? Global silence, frontal backstab. Frontal backstab. Hmm. Too long, didn't read. Well, I actually read it, so... I'm guessing this is like a little tutorial. Oh, did you forget to mention that mirror shield reflects your damage? Hmm, very useful in the current meta game. Okay, so I'm going to hit him with the sword. Yes. He's going to damage himself. I'm going to hit him with the sword. So all I can really do is hit him with the sword. And I have wings. Uh, the T. Enough. You'll be hearing from lawyer soon. What the shit? Sorry, I forgot to equip my lasso of anti-rage quit. Oh, there goes my XP. Hey, that's a second edition character. 
We have to make first edition character for you. Oh. No! I never <laughs> I never downgrade to first edition. Um, what the shit, he just disappeared. But I like the first edition. Fine. Then I'll play with my other friends. Okay. Two chairs to add two players. Okay, so we just basically told that guy to, like, fuck off then. Um, so what should we be? We can be a jock, a cheerleader, a surfer, a rich kid, a rocker, a goth, a lab rat, or a hipster. Hmm. I'm going to be a... Oh, okay, so these little red and green and blue things are the bonuses to dice. So let's try a lab rat. Oh, it's literally like a... Oh, oops. Um, we're going to be a lab rat... Uh, dwarf. Lab rat, dwarf, paladin. Maybe that's not the best. Because a uh, paladin looks like he might need more... Actually, no, a paladin still uses blue dice. Mm, so we'll do that. Okay. What are we going to call you? Can we call you anything? Do we choose one of these, or how does this work? Or is this just what I have the potential to unlock? So, pockets, passive, you have an extra trinket slot. Okay, so that's because I chose the lab rat. Fortitude, passive, damage reduction, plus two. Armor of faith is a passive. When you're at one health. Okay, so we'll go through this stuff as I go through the game. Uh, damage, threat, all that stuff. Cool, we'll add this guy. Confirm adding... The Dwarf Lab Rat versus Paladin. Yes, sure. Hello, world. Okay, so now we need another one. So what are we going to do? We're going to be a cheerleader, not a dwarf. A cheerleader, elf, mage. Or cleric. Wait, actually... Cheerleader's probably not... Cheerleader's got agility. Maybe we don't want agility. You know what? Never mind. We'll nerf our cheerleader a little bit, and we'll make her a mage. Mm, cleric or a mage? No, I think I'll go with mage. And you've got cheering passive. When you take shield action, restore 5 health. Okay. And energy. Uh, energy plus 20. I guess that's because she's an uh, elf. And then we have a whole bunch of magic stuff. So let's add her. Yes, am I late? I was busy blogging about this campaign. Okay, yes, and then we can go quests. Hold on to your dice. Okay, well, it's all pretty intuitive. I mean, I've understood everything so far. Uh, roll. There's a flash of light and your character finds themselves in a small village. This is exciting. The village elder greets you. Man, there's a lot of reading in this. Maybe I should have, like, stretched my vocal cords or something. Village elder, welcome to the spawn point. Oh, just Spawn Point Village. Sorry. Welcome to Spawn Point Village. The market leader in adventurer generation business. Okay. I'm glad to see that uh, you got here in one piece. There's been something wrong with the summoning circle lately. Well, thanks for telling us now. One young man came out horribly disfigured. Okay, that's, that's great. Let's not use that anymore. He disappeared into the woods and has not been seen since. Okay, I guess I gotta find him. What's she talking about? For some reason, the summoning fails every third time. Sometimes, even more often than that. Okay, that's not good. You mean we could uh, have a, um, appeared here without arms or a head? Can I, like, click other... Th oh, shit. Oops. Uh, I thought I could click other things. Let's not do that again. Before you have recovered from your summoning sickness, you were attacked. Oh man. Come on, we're in the middle of a city. Paper gangster. My, my, my. Look at what was found. Most... So, some newcomers. Most newcomers. Oh, shit. There's another one. We should be teaching them a lesson. Like a tutorial. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Tutorial. No. Yeah, let's see the tutorial. Um, sure. I'll start. If I get a critical hit, I'll cause more damage and inflict a condition. Okay. What's the condition? I don't know. Nice hit. You inflicted poison. Okay, so that's poison. It can be removed with a successful resist roll. Mm, poison removed. Now I'll hit you back. Ah, you can't. I'm in the back row behind the others. Okay. So I can attack somebody in the front. Let's get rid of her. Oh, sh 
I'm not doing any damage. Oh no. There's my alarm. Sorry guys, that's a little bit unprofessional. Completely forgot about that. I set, alarm uh, set an alarm to remind myself when to go to sleep. But then I just ignore it, so it's fine. Uh, since my turn order is three, it's now my turn to act. Okay. I'm more likely to hit the character with higher threat. Threat can be found on the character sheet. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. You seem to have a carrot. What? That sentence doesn't make sense. You seem to have a carrot that I'd use in your situation. Oh, okay. So, I can use a carrot. Yes. Okay, so that's how you get healing items. Okay, so... And then we'll attack. And we'll attack this person. Hmm. Wait, something is wrong. I feel dizzy. Me too. Plus nausea. What? Oh no, Clash of the Editions. I hate it when this happens. Okay. What the shit was that? That's called a terrain effect. You can check the detail by pressing the button on the top right corner of the screen. Clash of Editions. Immediately teleports away all second engineer. Oh, all second editioners such as the paper gang. Okay. Did our tutorial just explode? Okay. Well, that was a nice quick tutorial. Just show you how all the basics work. I mean, yeah, the game's pretty simple. So we should get into it quite easily. Hmm. Where are we going to go? What are we doing now? Um, quests. Let's... What happens if I rest? What else can I do? I can fight or I can rest. So I'm going to rest. Okay, that heals. Pretty much what I was hoping. Now can I click on other things? No, I want to click on other things. Okay. Uh... Let's fight right here in town. Uh, so we can fight a rat trap. And can I... Click a monster to remove it. So I can add a couple of these. And I can make it a little bit easier or harder. But apparently it's still quite close to easy. So let's go... I'll add as many of them as I can. They're just rat traps. What am I doing fighting rat traps? Walk in the park. Okay. I can use a chicken. Oh, chickens escape. Okay. So let's get rid of that guy. And he's gone. Okay. I can't believe I'm fighting magical rat traps. I'm, I'm assuming they're magical, because how else could this happen? Okay, so now we're using the paladin. We're going to get rid of this guy. And now I'm using the mage. So this guy's turn is two. We'll get rid of him. Oh, we didn't get rid of him. Probably because he's in the back row. Maybe all these like melee hits with the fist is not the best idea. Can my mage not use magic yet? Maybe later. Okay, so let's get rid of that one. Oh, that one only took five damage. Uh, and we'll get rid of the last guy. Okay, so if you click and there's only one guy left, it immediately kills that guy. So, we got 120 XP for party. And then we got an enemy quality bonus of plus 48. We got nine gold. And we got a purse. Okay, so this gold up in the top right corner is our actual gold like in-game gold okay we leveled up as well so that was nice and easy okay so lat ra <laughs> rat lab La lab rat uh can gain something so passive when you are at one health energy works as additional health and enemies take three damage when attacking you hmm okay so i can actually go dig into my like, man my energy pool as health. That's pretty useful. Uh, we have Guiding Strike. Strike with 108% damage and gain 2 threat until your next turn. So that's how Taunt. Lay on hands, restore 8 health to party member and 4 health to you. That is actually pretty good. Maybe we should start with that, but I don't know. Smite. Attack with 104% damage. Your target and adjacent enemy enemies are inflicted with weakness. Hmm. I think what we're going to start with is a heal. So let's start with a heal. And we'll up. Lay on hands. Yes. Okay, so that was also reasonably intuitive, I think. Because I clicked what I wanted to level. And then I leveled it. And I got it. So these are also probably our inventory slots. Which I don't think I really have anything. Can I equip that there? I can't remember what this does. How do I tell what this does? 
Oh, 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 this is this. Here is where it's highlighted. Okay, cool. So 1% extra gold. There we go. That's what that does. We'll equip it on you. We'll go to the next person, which is our cheerleader. And what are we going to give our cheerleader? Arcane Flow, which is a passive. Spell damage plus one. Well, we don't have any spells yet, so that doesn't matter. Uh, Frostbite, deal five damage and inflict stun. Resist body minus one. Your target can target back row. Okay, so that's going to allow us to target back row. Deal two damage. Your target and adjacent enemies are inflicted with burn. One. Can target back row. And deal four damage to a row of enemies. So all her stuff except frostbite seems like a area of effect kind of thing. So let's try lightning. We'll go with the lightning area of effect. And yes, I would like that. And we're going to close this. And we're going to go back here. So let's talk to you. And let's try a quest. So the giant rat population. Slay monsters and gain 50% more experience. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start. And we started a quest. <laughs> Okay, this is quite an interesting little game. I might actually go and buy the first one, to be honest. Um, if you have the first one, I don't know. Maybe they're not, maybe they're not different enough to, to have both. I'll play the second one for a while and see how it goes. And if I really like it, I might just buy the first one to, um, you know, support the devs, support the, well, I guess support the publisher more than the devs. I'm not really sure how their, their contract works, but whatever. <laughs> The Paper Knight Gang is transforming the world of Paperos by a strange magic we do not understand. Let's not try the click all over the screen thing again. They are plunging the world into chaos. Wow, that's bad. Or is it? Stop them before they can grow too strong and you will gain the everlasting gratitude of Paperos. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. It's the best. And a huge pile of gold. That is so much better. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find the bad guys. Before you go, could you do me a little favor for us? Giant rat, uh, giant rat population is our finest attraction, but the Paper Knight gang set the village full of rat traps. Okay, so we're actually, instead of fighting the rats, which is always the first quest, I mean, come on, we are now actually fighting the rat traps to save the rats because they are the village's main attraction. What the shits with this backwards RPG? I love it. It's amazing. Save your precious rats, uh, save our precious rats, and save us from going bankrupt. In this fight, there's a new escape button on the combat menu. With it, you can chicken out of combat if it seems too difficult. Okay. We're not going to run from rat traps. Yeah, sure. Oh, and we got a, like, little hand player's handbook warning. Warning. Probably because we tried to do a quest. Okay. I don't want to keep going back. I want to escape. And remember that you can find useful stuff in your player's handbook. Okay, yeah, thank you. Save our precious rats. Kill seven rat traps in one or more battles to oh, to continue the quest. Don't you mean to complete the quest? Or does the quest, like, carry on for a long time? So let's see. I can beat five in one battle, so let's do that. Piece of cake. So she goes second, so her initiative must be pretty good. And we can use lightning. And I will use it on the back guy. There we go, and we got rid of an entire row with one spell, but it used quite a lot of our mana, actually. Hmm, how much mana did this actually use? 15, or 15 energy, or whatever the game wants to call it. And I don't want to lay on hands yet, because I don't think she's taken enough damage. So she's taken 4 damage, and lay on hand heals 8, so let's not worry about that just yet. We'll get rid of you. And she now has initiative, so I can attack with her, and then I should get rid of that guy. Cool, so that was easy. I only took one hit. Again, 180 XP for the party and a bonus of 72, 9 gold, and I got a lettuce, which restores health and stuff. Ah, oh, we leveled again. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to take this time? Well, last time we took a heal, so this time let's take smite. Yes, please, give me smite. Uh, you really want to use lettuce? No, I thought I could maybe equip lettuce. That would be amazing. Walking around with my lettuce helmet. And let's take Frostbite. Because that's a attack single target. So we might need that. And yeah. So we've got two spells for each of them already. And have we completed the quest? I don't think we've completed the quest yet. So let's fight. Um, do we just kill two? No. I don't think so. I think we kill as many as possible every time. 
Oh, now she's got like five initiative. What the hell, game? Come on, man. Uh, we're gonna smite this guy. Definitely kill him. The And everybody around him should get weakness. Uh, deal only 50% damage and... What? And no critical hits. Okay, cool. Uh, let's have a look at Frostbite. What is, let's have a look. Let's go. It's literally a bite of Frost. Okay. That's pretty cool. I should have probably used it on the front guy because the back guy I could have... Or the back row, I could have probably just lightninged out of existence. Um, I actually want to have a look what Lay on Hand looks like. So, it's just casted. Okay, cool. So, it's like two hands that come down. They should, like, spread it more, a little bit more. So, it's like wings, man. It's wings. Then we can probably get rid of whatever's left in the back row. I wonder how much you got to conserve your mana. Like, how easy is it to get mana back? Oh, I got a pen and paper. 1% extra XP. Okay, cool. So, let's go on her. And you can get the pen and paper. And, yeah. So, she'll level up a bit faster and we'll switch where the pen and paper is. Okay, we can complete the quest. Cha-ching! Back in business. You should visit our shop and get your summit, yourself some adventuring gear. It's the icon with the gold purse. Okay. And the quest done. Do we get even more experience? Are we going to level again? No. Okay. The icon. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't see any icon. What's the map? Okay, so there's something over there as well. We'll go there just now. Uh, let's shop. How much money do we have? We have quite a lot. So we could up your weapon. Damage one. Hmm. It wounds though. But the axe adds so much more threat. Or you could go big time on one character and then... But then our other character kind of suffers a little bit. So maybe we won't do that. I think what we'll do is we'll start off... Um, we'll start off with something small like a hatchet. And then we'll go to... Oh, there's trinkets and stuff as well. Okay, we'll leave that for first. Let's just get weapons. For you... I think, what are we going to buy? A staff or a club? Hmm. I think we're going to buy the staff. There we go. We'll buy the staff. We'll equip the staff. No, I don't want to sell the staff. And we'll go back to the dwarf. And we'll equip an axe. And maybe we will buy a shield. We'll have a look at some of these trinkets. Initiative, threat. Hmm. Okay, so there's like the standard stuff you can kind of get. Uh, consumables, story things, and all kinds of other things. I think we're just going to stick with the equipment. We'll get this little shield. Yep, we'll equip the shield. And I've still got eight. What can I do with eight? That'll help the party. We can get a bunch of initiative. We could also get a little bit of extra threat for you. And I can get a bit of an extra initiative for you. My cheerleader can walk around in a loincloth. Because that's just how we roll. Okay, now, what quest do we have? We have the polluted river. Or, I can go to the map. And, oh, I can't actually go anywhere on the map yet. But we can have a look at the map. So, it goes all the way up to this glacier in the top. With a little, what, little passage in it, or whatever, cave. There seems to be some kind of massive city here. I'm assuming this is a graveyard. I mean, it's always a graveyard. But we can go back to Spawn Point Village. So let's do another quest quickly. Polluted River. Uh, travel to a specific place. Okay. Hello, heroes. Heroes. Can you help us a bit? Lately, our pristine river has begun to stink horribly, and the famous traveling craftsman is on his way to our village. Everything must be perfect when he arrives. There's something wrong upriver? I added a travel icon so you can visit the meadows or any other place anytime you want. Okay, investigate what's wrong with the water. Yes, let's do it. Okay, so we'll travel to the meadows. It's going to cost us five to travel to the meadows. Not enough gold. Okay, so I didn't know it cost you money to travel. So let's quickly fight a whole bunch of noobs. Hmm... And this should get us some gold. We should probably also rest before we travel. Because uh, we need to regain mana. So let's just get rid of the back row quickly. 
super easy and we'll get rid of front row i probably didn't need to use that i have weapons now so my attack should be slightly better let's try that uh, a little bit better okay and then i got a free loincloth anyway so we'll equip that loincloth as well and we'll level you up so restore one energy each turn yes that sounds like a good thing otherwise she's gonna run out of energy very quickly and you when you're on one health okay so that'll help if i'm taunting a lot but i'm not really taunting yet so what we'll do is we'll get um guiding strike which will up my threat so let's do that okay i kind of oh that was just the game highlighting that square okay cool so oh we leveled up so we have gained all our stats back i don't need to rest and we can travel now because we have money oh we roll what happens if we fail a roll when we travel between towns we'll probably get it back okay so we can camp here go back to the map we can fight or we can do quests okay so let's do the quest troglodytes are bathing in the river the water bubbles and it seems to be having a lot of fun hmm hey sting faces get out of the water you're polluting the river hmm relax fellas come along shall we certainly not interrupt the toglite bubble party hmm kill two toglites and oh not and in one or more battles to continue okay so can i kill two at once i'm pretty sure my guys are like level three now or something right okay so there we go two at once battle laurel okay and for some reason they are standing on separate lines so let's just get rid of the first the front guy first okay and i've stunned him so hopefully yeah he wasn't able to take his initiative turn and if we go Actually, we don't need to use spells on him. He should die if we just attack him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and we're going to frost cut, bite the back guy. Hopefully stun him. He skips his turn, and we go here. And we do critical. Oh, 22 damage. That was massive. Okay, a whole bunch of XP, some free gold. I was going to say some free gold, but it's not free. Okay, and still can't click on anything in the background. And I wish you could click on things in the background. The sheep. Come on, sheep. Okay, well, anyway, let's carry on with the quest. Interrupt the toglark bubble party. Okay, cool. So we're going to travel back now. Uh, it's going to cost me money to travel back. So if I didn't have enough money to travel back, I guess I'd have to fight more of them. Oh, no, I failed the roll. Okay, well, we're going to find out what happens. I got ambushed by rat traps. So nothing too serious. Let's just... We'll just hit them until they're dead. Because they're not really going to do anything. Okay, there we go. Rat traps are easy now. I am a god among rat traps. Okay, so we now got four gold and we're actually back in the town. Mm, so can we complete the quest or... Ah, thank you so much. The water is much clearer already. Hello, I have traveled many days and I'm in need of refreshments. That looks like one of the Mythbusters. It looks like Jamie from the Mythbusters. Is it meant to look like him? Maybe, maybe not. Elder, there you are. Fresh and pristine river water for your special guest. Okay. Holy crap. I got 450 XP. I'm definitely going to level again. Come on. Oh, okay. Or I'm not. Okay. So the ramping of the level is quite fast. Okay. So what are we going to do now? We got more quests. Okay. So now we got like a whole bunch of quests. We got... I'm guessing this is a main quest if it's uh, gold. I haven't actually read the whole. So we're kind of just taking guesses now. And we have fetch apples and new kid in a hurdle slay monsters and gain 50 percent more experience collect items drop from monsters and gain 50 more experience and we'll travel to a specific place so let's try this one quickly and then we'll call it a wrap uh, new kids in a hurdle okay so let's start this one a group of people spawn in a circle they seem vaguely familiar i think that mage is my little brother noob <laughs> he's just called noob oh uh, whoa this is so cool Oh my god, they're noobs. So what should we do now? <laughs> the newcomers look a bit lost, prodding the surroundings with their fingers. The mage tries to cast a spell. <laughs> they're talking in third person, how cute. Well, it'll wear off soon. Mm, the other group scurries off to the countryside. How quaint. Happy looting, kids. 
A while after the youngsters have left, the village elder approaches you, village visibly distressed. We, we need your help. What's wrong? As you may have noticed, a group of new players have just arrived. Isn't what that what this place is for? Yes, yes, but the meddling of the paper knight had some lingering effects. It seems some of the random encounters are way too difficult for first time players. The other parties uh, the other party has been stranded in the meadows facing monsters way too difficult for their skill and level. I fear that if they're not helped, they may be scarred for life and never play another role playing game again. Gasp. We can't have that. They're the future of our hobby. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Uh, I should have enough money to travel back to the meadows. Yes, let's do that. Oh, we barely made the roll. Okay, and let's do this. Kill seven Toglerites. Toglerites. Okay, so let's go. I wonder if I can kill five. Now I'm just being completely risky just to see what I'm capable of. And I don't have enough mana, so this might be bad. Well, I did like half damage to all of them already. Or most of them already, so... Hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, they, they seem to do quite a lot of damage to my mage, though. Uh, what I'm going to do... I'm going to smite this guy in front and everybody else should get weakness. Oh, he resisted. Okay. He, they didn't resist. And I killed him in one shot, so that's pretty good. I can lightning the guys in the back again, so let's do that. Bam. They're all dead. One guy left. You're not going to make it on your own, dude. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I didn't kill him in one shot. Damn it. Okay, so that's uh, five down already. And 450 experience for the party. Wait, something happened to my hatchet. What happened to my hatchet? Oh, no, I just got another hatchet. Can I equip two hatchets? Oh, shit, I can. Let's see what that does. And I'm also going to level up... Mm, let's level up the taunt. There we go. Down hands, no. Taunt. It seems like you need to kind of move your mouse down. So it's not click and then you're safe. You need to click and then... Or not click, you need to hover over and move down. That's a bit weird, game. And uh, let's try the fireball here. Yes. And let's get out of this. Okay, so I leveled up. So we might as well fight five of them again. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, actually, if I just hit the quest button and go battle. Oh, it does the same thing. Okay. So we can fight five of them again. Maybe we should roll d10 so these guys stand a chance. I'm not sure what he said, but that's kind of what I thought he said. Went to buy, but too fast. Uh, so fireball, two dot, and adjacent enemies are inflicted with burn. So if I hit you, does that inflict everybody? Yes. Yes, I don't know what burn does though. Okay, and then we're going to smite this guy. And everybody should get weakness. Come on, everybody. There we go, they all failed their rolls. Oh man, good times. Okay, and there's the, the damage on fight of oh, the burn. Cool. So I'm going to lightning the back row now. That means they sh should die from... Oh no, they probably won't die from burn. Damn it. Okay, well let's generate some threats to stop them from attacking my cheerleader. Okay, so he killed himself. He killed himself with the fire. There we go. Oh, lettuce. Nice. Okay, a bit of extra gold and we should have finished the quest now. Oh, how did you do that? Well, we're not noobs. Well, you just need to know which skills to use. Learning the effective combos is really important. Oh, you're saying nothing is more important than maximizing the DPS of your character? Uh, there's more to RPG <laughs> RPGs than DPS. <laughs> you're so awesome. I want to be like you someday. Well, unfortunately, you never can. Because I'm the greatest and you just suck. Okay, so let's go back to the town. There should be more quests we can pick up. And we got a safe travel, yes. Okay. So we're going to rest. And that's kind of what happens when you rest. Okay, cool. And anyway, I'm going to call it there, guys. I mean, there's probably a lot more to this game. I'm guessing the game starts with like a whole bunch more seats. Or you, there's space for like a whole bunch more seats. So maybe you can get extra guys and stuff in your party later. I did see in the magazine that you can like unlock exchange student as a player. And you can unlock warrior as a class. And there is this... The Life of the Undead Part 1. 
and you can unlock some items. So there's a whole bunch more you can do. Um, the map is quite like large. I mean, we went there, which is only like a little bit away. There's probably like all sorts of stuff all the way around and all around the map. I'm just making assumptions now, but I'm sure you could tell if you were going to watch some of the first game, it might be set up a l very similar to the first one. So anyway, yeah, this is, um, this has been, uh, Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Sorry, I was like, my brain left me there for a second. Um, I will put a link, uh, to the Steam, uh, store page in the description if you would like to have a look. Otherwise, uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy. This has been, uh, Shot in the Dark with me, Roblol. Uh... If you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and until next time, cheers guys. A bit of a weird outro there. Sorry. Bye!